Okay, I'd like to uh, call the special uh, meeting to order. Um, we have one item on the special meeting, and that is concerning the, the uh, filming of the oak tree. Uh, before we get started, I know that there will probably be a lot of questions tonight. We have invited a number of people from the county so we can get the information out as exactly what that process, decision-making process was. It ended up in the felling of the tree. We know that there are a lot of you that want, possibly want to end up asking questions. They'll be available here to answer those questions. Um, we also want to give everybody the most respect in the time when they have the floor. I'm going to ask each of you to hold your your comments and your opinions when you do speak to no more than three minutes because we may we have a lot of information we want to try to cover as much as we can within that one hour so with that in mind um, the, uh, the first uh, the item of business in, in regards to the oak tree we have a number of people here I would like to ask Mark Russell who is the division manager for general services in the county and he will uh, take care in, in introducing the rest of the people and the information that they provide. Thank you, Steve. Um, we're going to set we're going to set up a, a series of exhibits, but we also have handouts with them so that we can go through this. Uh, my responsibilities at the county is overseeing construction of projects. Uh, we were not the architect of record on this. Uh, CWA was the architect. Provost Richard was our engineer to have done the civil engineering work on it. And today, hopefully, we can tell you what we did. And obviously, we want to make sure we answer your questions and, and uh, get to the heart of the matter and answer the things that are important to you about these two trees. Uh, with me tonight is Matthew Pontus, another division manager, and a little bit more in tune with the specifics to the, the tree and the, the the whole species of all of those issues, but I'm gonna concentrate on the part that led us to be concerned about these tree, these two trees, so much so that there were four trees we went to an independent arborist to look at. Um, the concerns, and, I'll, and we'll have these packets out now as they go around. Um, there are three uh, specific separate sheets in there, and what I want to, what I want to do is, uh, we did get these pictures, by the way, from Linda, and, uh, uh, because I wanted to make sure you, you knew that they were your pictures that I didn't edit them and make them. I mean, this is not me. What you're going to be handed out, and, and I'll kind of hold this up over here so you can kind of see it. Uh, before we get to the, the, the issues of the tree itself, this, this first drawing you see here is what started the concern for us. Uh, when, the, when the library was being planned in 2002, there were six sites. Uh, of them, only one was not impacted by the trio of sites in Paulson Road. But for me to sit here, and I know some of your perception is, the San Andreas Hall, the Garlock, all of those we've heard before, these are the trees that rolled with that those seismic events for hundreds of years. Don't try to tell me that just because it's earthquake country, that's the reason you took down these trees. So I want to explain why this is a little different than you may not be aware of and what we went through to confirm our concerns. And then we'll talk about the two trees separate in, 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 in order. Here. The green area you see here is is an interesting area and you'll see as we get these three handed out the first thing you'll see is that the the library had to go here because there was actual seismic fault line activity there now three studies and forty thousand dollars of seismic trenching and the rest and i'm going to go to those in a second showed that this site was this trench across here was to was done to ensure that the library itself was going to be safe for the future for the patrons, which left only one area for parking and salvaging of the trees. And I've heard, I've listened to just about every one of the uh, television reports and the like. 
we did not take those trees down for more parking. We moved, we reduced the number of parking and moved nine of the stalls right out here and their agreement was to restrike. We also added sidewalk all the way across, handicap accessible sidewalks on both sides to get across now because part of the library's parking was decided to move over here so we could save those trees. In fact, those who have been here, and I've gone to, dare say, six years of these, this, you know, has not changed. You probably have copies of this. And on that particular one, you will see that for all our time, we have left these two zones spoken for those two, two trees to stay. We wanted them to stay, and that was our intent from the very beginning. We looked at this one, and then in 2006, we had further study of it. And I'll go to this one here. And they further defined that green blob area into two more serious areas right through the parking lot and right through the trees. This big band down the middle was a big concern. And so we had a third study done. The last study was nearly $20,000 just to say how dangerous in this zone of parking, and that's where our true trees are, how bad is it? And that probably brings us to the last one where someone tried to Frankly, to give you to give the story that the seismic fault was a rolling one is not what we have here. And that parking lot, what you have, is something that is very a little bit unusual, and it's called a tear zone. You see that big slot? What that means is, if I came up here and told you those oak trees can't handle a roller, you know it's not true. But it can have this. It rips the roots. And the last report, the last $20,000 report, that line right there is just right about in that hazard zone where those two trees sit. The reason that the other trees out there were safe, there's the property line. It didn't have it. This is the street park. It didn't have it. Right where those two trees were, we have a, what's called a tear zone. Not a, not a crack, not a, a tear zone. This. So, what happened is we started to be concerned about the large of the trees. It was hollowed out, but we frankly didn't do too much about it until the next event happened, and that one we do own. And that is, on this site, our engineers, Provost and Pritchard, had a dilemma. The, the drive that comes up here, your mountain community, you know as well as I do, if you go too steep, you're going to spin your wheels. We're at 12...